What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have a really special beer for you today. Everybody's been asking me if I've gotten my hands on it. Today, I finally did. It's actually pretty late time of recording. It's going to be on the spot, on the fly, because I want to get this review out for you guys. And here it is, guys. Zombie dust, but not your normal zombie dust. It's going to be zombie ice undead double pale ale. So this is coming in at 8.5%. Uh, brand spanking new in distribution, especially in northern Michigan. Don't know if you can get it in other places. I'm sure you can. Uh, but on the back of the can, we have crafted with an unholy amount of citra hops. This is double undead pale ale. Uh, heralds the uh, heralds the zombie evolution after the dust has settled from the apocalypse. Uh, excuse my grammar there. So we love zombie dust. It's been a very, very famous beer for... <laughs> I don't know, decades now it seems like. So now we have this monster 8.5% double the Citra Hops in it. I love it. I think Zombie Dust was always Citra Hops um, on their own, I believe. So this must just have a huge amount of Citra Hops on top of the base variant of the normal beer. Uh, okay, let's dive in. This beer is usually going to be $13.99 for a six-pack, so pretty good. Uh, considering that these beers are, you know, highly sought after. Let's put it that way. Um, so let's dive in. And again, let's go to Fresh, Freshville. It is 2-20-23. Today is, got to look because I'm losing track of my days, um, March 10th, time of recording. So I'm going to try to get this out to you tonight. Less than three weeks old. That's awesome. I love Zombie Dust. It's one of my favorite beers. It's always been one of my favorite craft beers. Let's try for this one. Go to a poor guys. Hope you guys are doing well tonight. Oh, that's majestic. Majestic double. Looks a little syrupy in the glass. A little dark orangey honey. Looks fantastic, dude. I love that. Very West Coast looking. Yeah, a little bit of a haze to her. Dirty haze. A lot of good carbonation. A lot of thick, frothy, soapy head sitting on top. Super, super tightly compacted. You guys can see that. Glassware might be a little dirty, actually. You can see that. It doesn't look right. Um, but boy... That's about as West Coast as it looks. It, it, it looks like um, Hop Slam. It, it looks like some stone beer. It looks exactly how I want it to look. So, wow. Sweet can art per usual. Zombie ice. Let's go to an aroma. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bursting with just that danky citra. Majestic hop. A mm. little bit of like orange syrup. Um, like like this creamy marmalade thing. A little bit of like dry lemon, lemon zest. Apricots. Peaches. Honey, sweet pine. Oh, it smells so good. Little tropical thing in there. It just, it, it's... It's beautiful. I, I just, I love that smell. It's West Coasty, but it's, it's bright and vibrant. It smells a little East Coast in there as well, just because that tropical stone fruity citrus thing. Um, mm, it smells delicious, man. Let's dive in. <laughs> Zombie ice. Cheers. Oh, that is so smooth for eight and a half percent. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> That is a delicious 8.5% beer. It is ridiculously smooth. Soft, sweet, herbally pine on the back end. It's got this beautiful bitterness that's just so elegant on the back end. It's not harsh or, or like so firm that it kind of blows your palate out on the back end. It's just you get this nice sweetness of like this, this lemon and then this little like orange tangerine marmalade thing. Um, Wow. And then you've got like these these just juicy apricots, but it's there's also dry components to the fruits. Um, it's soft, man. It's soft and, and super crushable at 8.5%. This is fantastic stuff here. Mmm. Like a dank passion fruit in there, just a touch of that. Um, but that there is this like little dank factor that I was getting on the nose. It's it's coming through on the palate. Um, just like a, a dank, herbally, juicy peach. Um, 
Again, I think that like tangerine, orangey, creamy marmalade thing through the middle, it's a little um, syrupy and sweet, but it's so well rounded on the back end with that bitterness. Just soft touch of bitterness on the back end to just bring it all in, reel this beer in together. Um, this is, man, this is top freaking notch. I could destroy this beer. The soft honey sweet pine too. It's just, it's, it's disgustingly delicious. <laughs> this is a damn good beer guys. I'm not, I'm not going to fluff with you. I'm not going to uh, lie about it. It shouldn't be this soft and drinkable while being so bright and citrusy, uh, stone fruity, a, a touch tropical, but uh, citra hops are just freaking awesome. And, and it brings like the old school citra that I'm reminded of with, with zombie dust. It's not like the new, like cat piss, like, just very stingy, just citrus in your mouth. It's so well-rounded. It's got a touch of that old school feel to it. Um, Three Floyds, obviously they're good at that. It, it just, it has that old West Coast kind of stone vibe, but at the same time, it's it's less syrupy and not as sweet and not as dank and, and hoppy um, in a bad way as like stone is. I mean, honestly, this is way more drinkable than like the Stone and Joy Buy series. Way more drinkable, it's not even close. Uh, this is just like, Old school with a touch of new Three Floyds magic dust put in here, guys, to make it this zombie ice dust. I don't know, man. This is delicious. I, I'm rambling now. This is probably one of the best beers I've had in a very long time. This is about as good as it gets, guys. I, I just I can't I can't stress the amount of balance on this beer and how drinkable it is. At eight and a half percent, doesn't make sense. It drinks like a. I, I don't even believe that it's eight and a half percent. It just doesn't make sense. It drinks like a six and a half percent beer, maybe seven, maybe, and that's pushing it. Um, oh, just freaking awesome. This beer is freaking awesome. Um, wow, rating. It's freaking good. It's just the perfect amount of juiciness, bitterness, and zestiness of like all the fruits and hops and pines and 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 dankness it's just everything is turned to the right notch nothing is overdone i, I just I'm, I'm slightly blown away by how good this is i'm gonna go with a uh, uh wow four point nine out of five it's it's i i would say it's one of the most flawless beers i've had probably ever for for being in this category yet the 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 drinkability in this alcohol percentage is just ridiculously good and i can't overlook that and i think there's just an incredibly good quality uh, and brewing technique in this beer guys so i highly recommend this one i know this was a lot of rambling um it, it's it's a nearly flawless beer for me so you heard it from here uh, it's port michigan reviews guys i'm over and out see you in the next review cheers Almost drank it all.